Hey people, welcome back, and I'm super excited to make this tree out of Pokemon cards. So I'm going to take you step by step, and then at the end I'm going to speed it up so you guys can see the whole process. But before that, guys, um, yes, I just donated for childhood cancer. Um, don't forget, guys, to donate for a good cause. You know, every penny helps, so just make sure you make a difference. Help yourself by helping others. That being said, guys, let me show you what you're going to be needing for this Pokemon tree. Okay, so let's start it off with this... Um, foam base what this does is so you, is so you can place the whole tree and it can have a base so it won't be flipping over back and forth you know so you need one of these you need a, a glue gun with glues uh, my glue guns on this side is kind of getting hot and, and ready to glue something so we're gonna need a couple of these we're gonna be need, needing a hole puncher I will show you that in a bit why we're gonna be needing these Pokemon cards um once they more than 10 should be good and this is going to be basically the the leaves on the branches and the reason why we need a po uh, hole puncher is um so i cut a leaf already and you know it kind of looks like a leaf so basically we're, we're going to be hole punching this the, the very tip so we can make these regular pokemon uh cards uh, an ornament so we're gonna be cutting out the pokemon so i prefer these uh, small ones instead of the full art ones uh any any hollow would be good just so it could shine better um, just make it small you know and um we're gonna be hole punching those two and we're gonna be hanging them for ornaments uh at at the end so we're gonna be needing that we're gonna be needing tape what else we're gonna be needing this um plant stakes this is for the log for the base <clears throat> and then we're gonna need a couple of these and this is basically so you can make the branches spread from the main log so with all that stuff, you know, guys, let's get this started. I'm super excited. Come on. Okay, people, let's start it off with, um, let's do the main base, which we're going to be using these. Oh, they're, oh, they're kind of, they're, they're spiky. That's, which is good. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're kind of spiky. So it's perfect. So you can insert it right away. So I want to use for, for a good, thick uh, log I think four should do it what I'm gonna be doing I'm, I'm gonna be um taping them really 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 tight so they won't move let me use some tape here we go so <clears throat> this is just for the base the top from the very tip man make sure once once you tape it it's really 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 tight so it won't move here we go and um, I would recommend doing a couple of, of, of these uh, along the way so your sticks or your main base won't move too much. You see like this, this is still kind of loose. And kids, um, there's no limit to your imagination. And the only process that I'm going to be showing you guys is just me taping these and me wrapping a couple of branches so, so you guys can see how it's made. And then I'll be uh, speeding up the process apologize guys this is my first time recording like this so you know so now let's open this brick and then what you do you just insert it all the way down you see so i'm gonna pull it up a little bit higher so i can make the branches spread up a little bit higher let me see if i can move the camera a little bit higher how to um make a simple leaf so basically just get a sharpie and a energy leaf a green one and then you know just picture any type of leaf that you want just sketch it out just do your best it doesn't have to be perfect and also i would i would uh recommend well the the way that i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be putting big branches on the bottom and then keep making them smaller and smaller i, I think i'm only gonna make three sections of branches so um as i go along the way to the top um <coughs> the leaves should be smaller so you see how it is it's just simple and then once you cut it you know just either make it perfect or just and there you go that's the leaf i will show you guys how to wrap this stem wire around the base of this tree so what's cool about these it's that they're really flexible really you know you can bend them like any way you like and um what what i would do is i would cut this in half with either strong scissors nope these will not cut so now what you want to do is wrap obviously you're gonna have to take the main log out so you can do a, like a little bit of wrapping 
around this. See? And like I said, you know what? Since this is gonna be longer, I'm gonna make this one the middle the middle side a little bit shorter, and then I'm gonna make the very top really small so they won't stand out so it could blend in like a tree. So that's basically the process, and guys, I'm gonna how I'm gonna be gluing them. You could either kind of make them smaller, but I'm gonna be either gluing a couple, I mean a couple of leaves right here. So this is how it should be looking like at at the end. You see one right here. Just make sure it adds space, and then one one at the very end, and that's gonna be a Christmas tree. Basically, the the process, you know, the the glue gun will be taking care of the rest, and uh. Wish me good luck. present to you the Pokemon tree that cute Pikachu so there you guys have it that's a uh, Pokemon Christmas tree made out of Pokemon cards Check it out, super sexy, I love it. I hope you guys do the same and don't forget kids, there's no limit to your imagination. My other channels, my other videos and if you guys like them, please subscribe. And don't forget to tell your baby mama, comma, drama, baby son, Obama to subscribe to Mechanical Cat. Thank you guys so much for watching, peace. Merry Christmas, ho, 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 ho.